everyone uh, welcome to this postman tutorial in this tutorial we will learn to create the test in the postman so let's begin in postman you can create your test on the multiple levels you can create your test on the collection level you can create your test on the folders level and you can also create your test on the api request level the good thing about postman is that they can provide you a code snippet or the test snippet which helps you to create your test quickly and efficiently in order to create a test or the API level, just click on the test option. And on the right side, you will see a lot of snippets available here. So mostly what kind of a test you will execute on the API. You might be checking the status code. You might be checking the value coming back from the server. These values can be in the form of the JSON body, JSON response body, or in the form of the headers or cookies, right? So now let's see how we can quickly create the test on the API level. So let's begin with our first test. We need to check that the status code is 200. So just go to the snippets, click on status code is 200. When you click on it, it will automatically generate a code for you. This code is written in the JavaScript and this code is very human readable right now. So whenever you write a test in the postman, so it will start with the pm.test. This method actually get two arguments. The first one is a string argument and second is a callback function. The first string is basically to define the name of your test. Callback function actually checks with your response and assert that the status would be 200 here. Okay, so let's change the name of this test. Make it a proper test case. Validate that status code will be 200. Now just click on send button. Previously what happened was we don't see any test results here, but now you can see a test results here and it says one by one because we have just created a one test here. Just click on test. And you can see that your test case has been passed. These results can be filtered using these options. If you want to see all the results, you can click on all. You can, if you want to see a past, just click on past. If you want to see the test which got skipped, just click on skipped. And finally, if you want to see the failed test case, just click on failed. That's how you can filter between the results here. Now let's create another test which is a bit more complex here. And now your test case is that you need to validate that whenever you get a response in this particular API, the value of a status should be success here. Now, how you can do that? Just go here, give a space here. And in the snippets, just go for JSON value check response body. Click on this one. It will automatically generate a code for you. Again here, the test start with the pm.test. It got two arguments. The first is a string one where you will provide the name of your test and second is a callback function. Now here you will see an additional line called var json data equals to pm.response.json. Now what this line is for? So basically this line actually get the value, this whole json value for you, right? Because your server is sending you back this body cookies headers but what we need is that we need only this body here right because we need to check that the status is equal to success here so that's why we need to create the object here and so that we can have this whole body then we can go to or traverse to this status right and then we will assert that one okay so i'm giving a name here validate that in JSON response the value of status will be success okay so you have to find the name of your test case here and what value we need to check status as I told you that this JSON data will have this whole value. Now we will need to traverse to the status. 
so how we can traverse here so it's really simple just copy the status from here json data dot status now the status is equals to success right this is what we want to assert it will take a single quote here I have to remove the double quotes here now let's execute this one now you see that you have two test results here and both are in the past status now you can see which test case has been passed or which test case has been failed or skipped here which we told earlier now let's intentionally make the test case fail so for instance i am giving the status to 300 it will fail because the server or api is returning us as a 200 status code here just click on send now you can see that your one test case got failed and it mentioned that validate that status code would be 200 a session error expected response to have a status code 300 but got 200 we are expecting 300 which we mentioned in our test case but the api is giving us as a 200 that's why it marked it as a fail here now we will see that how we can create our test on the folder level i'm just copying this code from here and removing this one right now now go to this folders here click on three dots click on add it go to the test and paste your code here right i'm changing it back to 200 now what will happen whenever i execute that particular folder this test case will be automatically implemented on all the apis this particular folder or module have so we don't need to write our test case for each and every request for instance you have a scenario where you have a test case which might be implemented on your folders or all the apis in that particular folder right so in that particular case you might need to write your test cases on the folder level similarly you might need to write a test case which might be applicable to the whole collection you can also create the test in the similar way just click on these three dots click on add it go to the test and click and write your code here right i am removing this one cancelling it out let's execute now because now we have a multiple apis okay so we cannot run multiple apis from this area we need to open the runner and select this folder to execute just click on runner go to this particular module and it has two apis i'm selecting the environment and then click on run employ test so you will see that my both apis got executed successfully and both got asserted against the status code here right so this is a benefit of writing your test on the folder or the collection level you can run the collection in the very similar way right thank you so much for watching this video we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture